Date with Elizabeth. <laughs> Tonight we're going to talk about getting back on track because I have to get back on track. <laughs> I was doing really well before I went on vacation and then I, you know, had tempura. <laughs> you know how that works? You, you know, the, you see it on a menu when you never see tempura on any menu unless you go to a Japanese restaurant or something, and I never order it. But this was asparagus and broccoli, and I was like, well, you know, asparagus, broccoli, yes, deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that was just one thing. I thought I was going to need another meeting when I came back, back for the amount of alcohol we were consuming. <laughs> But, so we want to do getting back on track, do this, don't do that. So, how about you reflect on your recent choices? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Mm. And see, for me, I have to forget, I can't forget how far I've come. You know, I have to remember Absolutely. how far I've come. I can't say to myself, oh, you had tempura, bad girl. You know, I mean, I have to actually act like I had it. I'm going to have to, uh, you know, face the scale and I'm just gonna ha and I started back right after vacation. See, that's the trick with all things. You have a bad day, you have a bad, uh, not bad, you have an unhealthy day. One day isn't gonna mess you up anyway. But what one day can do to you is make you say, oh, well, I messed up. Forget you know, if you don't have mm -hmm. a good day on Monday, people think that they should wait till next Monday. Yeah. Yeah. You can start eating healthy on Thursday. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be a Monday. So that's the thing. You have to get back to it as soon as you're able you ever find that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? So I think that, that we have to start to think that way. And so I don't want to forget how far I've come. And I know I have a few pounds to lose, but I'm gonna lose those pounds. I'm, I'm on track to lose those pounds. I don't want to take any chances of not doing that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm gonna make a plan, which I have. And, and, uh, and I don't want to be mad at myself. Now, what about you? Do you ever do you get mad at yourself, or do you roll with the punches, or I, I, with the donuts? <laughs> yeah, roll with the donuts. I used to get mad at myself and and think, oh, I messed it up, I screwed it up. I might as well just, you know, forget it for the rest of the day. And then the next day, you think, oh my God, what am I going to do today? But uh, you know, the last few months, you know, I I haven't beat myself up like that you yeah know? I mean I, I because if I do I'm if I'm in a situation where there's I don't have a choice in what's being served at a party that happens quite often you know or you you're at your neighbor's house and that bowl of potato chips is right next to you and you haven't eaten potato chips in a year but you know next to your hand is in the potato chip bowl. let me just stop <laughs> you just for one second if you haven't had potato chips for a year i'm saying have the potato chips occasionally you know but i don't know that i could resist they'd have to be the right potato chips though. they 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 were saltier than the ones i usually get but you know i just said well i'm just gonna have a couple my problem is when I have them in the house, I can't stop eating them. Right. But these were at my neighbor's house, and I was going to go home. If so. you don't buy stuff, you can't eat them. stuff. I don't buy If you buy don't buy them. junk, you can't eat junk. Nope. It's just as well. Nobody in your family needs it. No one. I tell my kids, if they want it, they have to buy it themselves, and don't put it in my kitchen. And don't put it in my kitchen. Hide your stuff in the other room. That's what I always think. Hide your stuff in the other room. And what about you, anything that you can think of? Well, the, the same, it, what she said, I used to beat myself up and it wasn't just for one day. It was like, all right, I ruined Monday now. Like you said, I'm, the whole week is shot. The week is shot, mm. I'm done. But I don't do that anymore. No. And every time I do deviate from what I'm supposed to eat, I take it as a lesson. All right, I couldn't not eat the 
diet bars, the whole box. So, so I don't buy the diet bars. Anymore. I can't. I had. I would eat the whole box. Right. That's the. That's the. That's the thing right there. I would just eat the whole box. Right. So I tell myself, now you know, you can't buy them anymore. See, you learned the lesson. Finally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. Listen. Nothing. Don't even. Don't even put yourself down this much to me because look how well you've done. But you know what I mean? That's the trick. Once you know that you can't have it because you can't stop eating mm. it, which is the whole point mm -hmm. of the manufacturer. Yes. Right. You know, plus that, those bars, I don't care what kind they are. I don't care if it says protein bar. I don't care what it says. It's just chemicals. If it's not real chocolate, although I did read an article in the New Yorker magazine, and it went right down the aisles of what you should and shouldn't have. No, I'm sorry. It didn't say what you should have. Everything was what you shouldn't have. Either it was ecologically bad for the planet, or it was poison to you, mm. or it was slave labor, mm. or it was big corporation, GMO, Monsanto, Franken food. <laughs> You know, I mean, by the time I got down, you know, re I was going, wait a minute, I love avocados. But apparently it takes like 72 gallons of water. And, you know, avocados wow. are from um, California. And, mm, you know, they're yeah, having drought. drought. Mm. So, you know, you're going, oh, well, I love avocados. And that was the list like that. I mean, when it went, I didn't realize, I thought it was just these top 10 things because I didn't know the whole magazine was loaded going down each aisle. Oh my gosh. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh, here was the other one, quinoa. Something I love, yeah. something that's good for you. I'm buying well, some tonight. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and the thing was, is what they do is it requires so much water in the country where it's grown and the people are so poor and they pay for water and so they can't afford their very staple which is quinoa oh, oh dear man. i know listen the list was endless it's That's already awful. packaged and on the shelf for crying out loud buy it yeah right <laughs> i know listen i get it i, I listen i i couldn't figure it out i was like well, make me, show me what I can eat. Right. I mean, of course you should go to a local, uh, you know, local farm. That would be smart. Or you could um, grow some of your own stuff if you can. That would be smart. But some things you just can't, you can't, I can't grow avocados. Mm -hmm. I can't grow mangoes. I can't grow pineapples, you know, but, right. but that's what's, that's what it is. You know, there's a lot of us in this world, so we need a lot of food, mm -hmm. let alone the amount of food we waste, which I don't even want to talk about that. Let's well, not. Okay, focus on lifestyle changes. Forget what was. Don't think about what's going to be. Concentrate on this very moment. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. I don't, I wish I could, if I could teach anybody anything, it would to be in the moment, no matter what it is, no matter whether it's a trial or tribulation, sometimes you have to live through it and realize that, God willing, and you know, that you're going to come out on the other side a better person for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Now, you all have seen my play, so you know that I came out on the other side. Mm. I mean, anything can happen. Right. But why wouldn't we just concentrate on this very moment? Right. So, if I can impart that, I want to do that. And I'll give you an example of why this doesn't, why it doesn't work uh, for some people. They get caught up in their 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 sorrows and even when they're having a nice time I, I had a friend who uh, lost her husband and every Friday night for at least a year I would go to her house with dinner and I would bring friends with me and she was able to have a few hours of fun mm. 
you know, not being, get, didn't feel, she lived in the moment of those three hours that we were there, we were having the dinner, had a few drinks, you know what I mean? Just had, she lived in the moment. She knew the grief was coming back. It wasn't going away. Right. But she's that kind of person who always, she, she taught me that, how to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the best thing, that's the best lesson I've ever learned in life. I mm -hmm. agree. Isn't it true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, you, you should do that if I can't make anybody do anything else. Um, find new motivation. There's a million places to look for motivation. It, I love how, you know, uh, people will come to me and they'll go, I found this new recipe or I find this new workout, which you're working out now <laughs> and it's got to be because of this. It is. You know, that 30, 30 things you should try. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, I'll, I'll give the exercise. I'll do my best to do that. You know, but I'm not, remember how even Ann was saying she's going to do it four days a week. Mm -hmm. No. Don't tell me four days a week. Tell me two. Mm -hmm. Let's not overextend ourselves. See, that's everybody. I'm going to lose 50 pounds by December. <sighs> It's simply not going to happen. And then you'll think that you can't lose weight. Mm. You'll go right to the fact that you can't lose weight. Right. And I feel so bad for everyone that, um, that feels that way. I mean, I felt that way. I, no, listen, I didn't feel that I couldn't lose weight. I just didn't want to. I just didn't care. I didn't care about life anymore, so I figured... I would just eat everything in sight, you know, while trying to kill myself. Mm -hmm. However, they can keep you alive <laughs> with all that medication. Mm -hmm. And you know, like that cholesterol medication, wicked cramps, muscle cramps, wicked. Mm -hmm. And now I don't have to take that anymore. You see, I don't think people see that, okay, maybe I can't have tempura or pizza or cake every day but would I rather have leg cramps every day mm -hmm. or yeah. have problems with my liver or problems with my kidneys yeah. from these medications that it, do you ever read, have you ever heard the side effects? Yeah. You're yeah. like going, wait a minute, maybe it's just better if I don't, yeah. if I, if I don't take that. You have your liver enzymes checked. And, you know, yeah. 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 It's not right. Yeah. And the one of the ones that it was a depression medicine, and it says may cause depression. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> or suicidal thoughts. What's the point? <laughs> one I'm of already the, depressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. One of the, I could do that without medication. <laughs> and then one of them says the first thing on it was death. May cause death. Oh my. Now see, they weren't goodness. giving me that medication, whatever wow. it was, but that was the first thing on it was death. I'm like, um, who's making this medication up? Yeah, how did that even get approved? Well, <laughs> the side effect is death. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they say, wow. you know, the FDA is not funded, so our medications, they just can go, yeah. you know, and just so do whatever they really want. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting. You don't even know what you're getting in your vitamins. Right, right. You right. really want to find somewhere that you can actually, you know, I don't know, consumer guide or something. Someplace, because yeah. you don't know. You simply do know. And then here's another thing you should do. How about having different things? You know, I mean, I tell you that when I find one thing where I can have like a big plate of it, mm. I eat it to death till I can't eat it anymore. Mm -hmm. Till I'm sick of it. Me too. We need <laughs> variety. I, too. I know, because we figure, oh, look at this. I have a nice plate of food. So I have it every night. I did that with tacos that I used to make with pitas. And you know, now I really can't eat them because mm. I just ate them to death because you know, two of them, and they were big, and they were filling, were 300 calories for the both of them. It was a cheap meal calorie wise. It was a pretty cheap meal price wise <laughs> too mm -hmm. and it was good for you because it was refried beans with mm -hmm. the old El Paso doesn't have a lot of uh, you know poison in it yeah <laughs> it's got you know if things have under five ingredients you're good to go and if your grandmother ate it 
is more than likely you should be eating it. So we need a meal plan where we have variety in our life. And uh, I think that's a really good thing. There's lots of recipes on Losing Weight with Elizabeth on Facebook that you can go find. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is this chicken with potatoes, with lemon and, and uh, rosemary. Oh my goodness, slow ro roasted in your oven. Perfect meal, very delicious. You know, like, that's, start experimenting with spices. Do things different than you ever did them before so that you don't get bored. Mm. Generally, let's not get bored. Getting bored with your food is then forget you're it. wander into bad territory of eating things you shouldn't. Right, exactly. You wander into bad territory. You have a plan and you have to, to know plan. what your options are if you want to go off of what your normal you, know. you have to have a plan. So if yeah. you know you're going out for you dinner, have to know what your options are. Try to keep your calories to mm. you know like 300, 400 calories. So when you go out, even if you're not staying between 12 and 15, if you keep your calories at 400, the average person can have about 2,000 calories a day. So if you go out and you've only had 400 calories, it's just a maintenance day. Look mm -hmm. at it as a maintenance day. Mm -hmm. You have 1,600 calories to play with. That doesn't mean you should be getting fettuccine Alfredo because that, <laughs> really, a cup of that is 1,600 calories or a blooming onion. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 40 pieces of bacon, by the way, in fat content. Oh. 40. 